Alrighty, hope you're all done okay. It's time for another quick um, garden update. Having a look at my rather scruffy looking garden at the moment. I'm really going to have to um, try and get some a proper fence put around this and make it look a bit nicer. Uh, right, yeah, as you saw before, everything was under the covers. I've now taken the covers off. Um, that was the coriander. That's the mint looking really quite lush, actually. Um, I do like uh, putting that in water and kind of making like a tea. Tomatoes, I mean, it's June now. It's June the 4th. Um, so I don't really think they're going to amount to much. I think when it comes to tomatoes, you've got to get a greenhouse and, and start them really early. That's a look at the rockery and uh, kind of a wildflower that's just popped up, but it looks quite pretty, so I'm going to keep it there. Roses are coming on nicely. But let's have a look at the, uh, the um, vegetables, the greens. So yeah, there we go. All looking pretty good. The pak choy, uh, I'm already harvesting that. Um, as you can see, it's starting to get a seed as well. But I'm going to allow it to get a seed. The spinach, oh, that's just amazing. Look at it. Not no bugs in it, and there's no um, uh, what is it? Leaf miners. Nothing. It's just completely, you know, really good. And let's say pak choy. All I tend to do is just pick off the leaves and then allow it to go to seed well um you know so i don't have to buy any more uh, seeds but so yeah i'm really happy with that uh, that lot i think it did a the garden um it was really good that i didn't actually do anything last year uh it allowed everything to you know re regenerate and um and then get the soil rich and everything like that i actually harvested one there um because I was going to make some noodles later on. But yeah, looking really good. That is the bright lights, as you can see, all different colours. They're lagging because I've got a problem with cats. They keep walking over it. I've, you know, every time I take the, that's the beetroot, and they're lagging as well. However, um, give it another month and it should all be looking pretty good. Um, there's a quick overview. Uh, in the distance, you can see the lettuce um, more bright lights in the middle is uh, what were they chop suey greens um, i tried them before and uh, they're really nice in stir fries and they've got a little bit of uh, growing to do but uh, not doing too bad more um, bright lights at the back as you can see this year forgetting about potatoes forgetting about carrots and just sticking with what does grow well uh, I put a little kind of barrier up there because there's a little hole in the fence right at the back. Um, I shall zoom, show you in a sec. There we go. Um, <clears throat> there. Now that's where the cat's coming in. They're getting on the wall and they're nipping through there and they're walking straight across. So I put this little kind of metal barrier up to try and give them a detour so they can go across the top part. And not straight across the um, the beds as they see it as a massive cat litter. Uh, there's more bright lights ready for kind of when the others are all gone, and they, they should be uh, just about ready then. So I shall plant them in. And the purple sprout and broccoli, my usual staple. Uh, one, two, three, four of them uh, in cages or homemade kind of cages, which I salvaged from the greenhouse, which I um, which got weather beaten to pieces. Uh, so, but I salvage what I can. Here's a quick overview of it. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. And that, that spinach is ready to go. That's ready to get in the juicer every morning. Um, I'm trying to maintain a healthy lifestyle again. I've been kind of going in the gym about four times a week now for the last few months. I might even try and do a few gym uh, videos, you know, when it's worth uh, showing. <laughs> but yeah, here's a quick look. And and here is the uh, what I'm having for my tea noodles with the uh, pak choy it's going to be a quick video this one I'll catch you later